Okay, so today we're looking at the cosine rule. And this is another really nice rule for triangles that states that a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc times cosine of angle a. Now it's really important when we use this formula that the lengths of the little letters, so little a, little b, little c, they're associated with the angles of capital A, capital B, capital C, but the corresponding opposite angles. So uh, our diagram looks like this. So the angle of length little a, that's opposite to the angle of capital A. And it's the same for all the other angles. So this is really useful because we can use it to find the missing angle if we're given the free sides, because if we know what a, b, and c are, we can work out what capital A is. And alternatively, if we have an angle and two sides, uh, say b or c, then we can use it to find the missing side, so find the other one, A. So we're going to look at two examples, one for each of those cases. The first one, I'll sketch the triangle out here. Let's uh, do this problem. This triangle looks something like this. So this angle here is 100 degrees. So we've got one angle and we've got two lengths. So the le this length here is 6.5 centimetres and the bottom one here is 8.7 centimetres. Now the problem here is to find this missing length, the hypotenuse. So I can call this uh, length B and this one C, and we can call this angle capital A. And then we have everything we need to find the missing length, which is going to be little a. So if we just plug these numbers into the formula, we have A squared. This equals B squared, which is 6.5 squared, plus C squared, which is 8.7 squared and then minus 2 times b times c, so 6.5 times 8.7 times cosine of a, and this is 100 degrees. So if we plug this into a calculator, this would give us approximately 137.6. So this is what a squared is, and then to find out a, we just take the square root, and this gives us an answer of a is approximately 11.7 centimeters. So we worked out the missing side. So now we're going to look at an example where we're given the free sides, but we need to find out the missing angle. So for this problem, our triangle is going to look something like this. I'll just sketch it here. And so we're given the free sides. So if this one is 8.2 centimeters, this one is 5.9 centimeters, and the longest one is 10.6 centimeters, then the question is to find out this missing angle here. I'll call it capital A. So to use this formula, we need to decide which lengths are A, B, and C. And remember when uh, I talked about it at the start, we said that the angles, capital A, had to be opposite the length of little a. So this tells us that this length is little a. And then the other two sides, they don't actually matter. So I can call this one B and this one C. And then we can just plug this all into the equation. So we have A squared, which is 10.6 squared. This equals B squared plus c squared, which is 8.2 squared, and 5.9 squared. Then minus 2 times b times c, so 2.8 times 5.9, 5.9, and then times cosine of a. Now a is what we're trying to solve for, so we can just simplify this and rearrange to get everything in terms of cosine of a. So if you do the algebra, you can use a calculator, you're going to get the answer that cosine of a, this is approximately uh, minus 0 0.107. And then to find a, you just need to invert cosine. So a is cosine to the power of minus 1 of this stuff, minus 0 0.107. Oh, too many dots there. And then if, again, if you use the calculator, we're going to get the a. This comes out to be 96.1 degrees. So we worked out the missing angle.